Okay, time to get started on the phones with uh, Kent in Sarasota, Florida. I'm glad you waited, all of you. How are you, Kent? I'm great, Riff. Thank you. I've had good news uh, today on the uh, Russia report, but I'd like to get to the guns in school. Um, I know guns aren't the problem. I graduated high school in 1985 from Loganville High School in, in Georgia, and we 75% of the male population in that school brought multiple guns to school every single day. And we never, ever thought about shooting anyone. Now, wait, wait, wait. I want to make sure. You're, you're talking about when you were a student? Yes. In 1985? 1985. We we grew up in the country. Every single guy had a pickup truck with a hunting rack in their back windshield with usually a shotgun and a hunting rifle. And it stayed on your back windshield. You never locked your doors. Okay, you okay. But you didn't take it. You didn't, you didn't take it into school with you. No, but they were in the parking lots, right? Readily and you know easily available. You could walk out of the parking lot and see hundreds of trucks filled with guns. Well, how many school shootings happen in this uh, this school of yours? Uh, zero and zero zero murders in our town. You mean you've got a s no murders in the town? <laughs> no. So not you had a you had a now. admittedly you had a country school with a lot of pickup trucks, yeah. gun racks in the back, surrounding the school every day. There were guns all over the grounds and not one school shooting where you grew up. No, we were taught to hunt, and first since we were about 12, everybody usually got their first gun around 12. But the thing is, we were taught the difference between right and wrong, and our teachers were allowed to discipline. Yeah, that's, well, see, this is, thank you, this is, what I was referring to in uh, my numerous monologues in the first hour about our societal evolution and the desire to go back to more innocent times. Uh, the left poo-poos the notion. If you have any objection to modern day cultural, if you think it's depraved, if you think modern society is depraved, you've probably at one time or another, man, it was so much better in the 50s. There was none of this anger and angst and this whatever you think is wrong today going on back then. And if you happen to say it publicly, you would be ridiculed. And they would tell you, you can't go back to the – you can't turn back the hands of time. You can't. You can't. It's silly. Besides, who would want to go back to an America that was so regressive and restrictive? Who would want to do that anyway? No, no. You must learn to accept – because this is progressive cultural advancement and achievement. You must love it. But now the shoe's on the other foot. And now these media-led stop-the-guns crowd seems to want to go back to a more innocent time when they think there weren't any guns anywhere. It was my point. In the 50s, the Second Amendment was thriving. There were guns everywhere. And a per capita basis, I'm sure the percentage of guns then is equal to the number of guns today. But you didn't have anywhere near this gun. Not just shootings. There are other condemnatory cultural behavior didn't exist then that does now. But we're told, well, this is the America, this is what we're going to deal with. This is, this is, this is progressive progress. My only point is that the adults owe it to children to protect them. And there aren't any adults in this argument right now. The only adults that I see are not really acting as adults. They're bleating and they're whining and they're moaning and they're talking about guns and the Second Amendment and they're insulting Trump and Republicans. And that's not a solution. The solution is this is our country. This is our society in 2018, what are we going to do with it? How are we going to deal with it? And pie in the sky wishing it weren't true ain't going to accomplish anything. Quick time out back after this.